guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be looking at the FSS Hurricane Submachine Gun. So starting out, this was probably my least favorite submachine gun, and I think it still might be. I haven't touched it in a while because I got I leveled it up pretty quickly just to get it out of the way. But looking at the class setup I have for you guys, starting out on the muzzle, we got the SA Schladendampfer 99. I have no clue if I pronounced that right, but that is a, I mean, I don't even want to know how many syllables is in that. There's a lot of letters, so you can just estimate it. Uh, going down to the underbarrel, we got the FTAC Ripper 56, recoil stabilization, hit fire accuracy, aim and stability. This thing has pretty bad damage range. That was the main reason why I didn't like it. Uh, so this gives improved damage range. You get better bullet velocity. All that is fine and dandy. For the laser, we got the 1 milliwatt, uh, but this thing has a fast ADS time. So I think we should probably change this one up to... Uh, I, probably, I, I meant to do this beforehand, but let's see what we got here. Aims to be, you know, so, well, you know what, let's go with this one. Why not? Even if it is visible, we'll flip and roll with the punches. And then finally, we got the D15 grip for that good flinch resistance. So, uh, all in all, I mean, it's kind of a goofy looking gun. You know, we just got the old M4 uh, receiver here with, or like lower receiver. And then on the upper, we have this P90 style magazine deal um i truthfully this is like one weapon setup that i don't know much about irl never even seen one irl so uh, i need to do some looking into that but with all of that covered let's take hop into a match and play around with it okay and brenberg hotel is what we got so this will be interesting um yeah i'm not i've not touched this gun in a pretty in a pretty good while so we'll, we'll just kind of have to slowly warm up to it and relearn what it's all about the one thing i did like about it uh was the iron sights that are on it i really and part of that too now is i do have a weapon blueprint on it as you could see but that has nothing to do with the attachments and that gives us a uh, a nice little red front sight now we got the laser um i don't know the last time i the last couple times i've played this map i've been rocking marksman rifles and stuff so uh it's going to take me a second to really get uh, a good play style. Boom, there we go. There, I just, there's something about this gun. Like, it's nice having the 50 round magazine, but the uh, the, the time to kill and, and everything else just seems uh, a little slow sometimes. Oh, I'm going to talk all this trash and we're going to have a good game, but I still stand by, like, my original trash talk. Um... It's like until you get some, like, and this is the case with most weapons, but until you do get some uh, decent attachments for this, uh, you can have a very unpleasant time playing with it. Oh, okay, there we go. We got that. Let's top off the mag. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, nope, never mind. That was the guy I just killed. Okay, I'm going to keep playing the loop-de-loop -loop right here in the middle because they keep wanting to come around these horseshoe areas. I don't know if he's seen my laser or not. I'll be able to flick over to him. No, flipping T. If I've been patient for just another second or two, but you know what? It's all good. Let's get the old uh, Hellfire missile coming down. This isn't really a good map for it, but I'm gonna see if I can kill him. Nope. Okay, I think my teammate got him right before that missile landed. But yeah, pretty much all this map being indoors, you don't really have a good opportunity to uh, to rick roll somebody with aerial streaks, like you know the uh, the VTOLs and stuff can. Oh, bro, okay, I had two teammates standing right there in that corner. I know they was probably below the stair line, so it's out of like, eyesight, but Jesus Christ, it looked like you'd definitely have at least one or two of them getting the... I don't have this, so... Ooh, perfect. Okay, well, they're already gone. I don't think... Let's see, I don't have Ghost on this class, so... And there we go. The only reason we really got him with that is because of the noggin shot. Hopefully he'll think that was me maybe rushing or something. I don't know if he's seen the other guy lighting him up or not. Okay. Like, we ain't going to be camping here the whole time, but we can always switch over to some. Oh. Just trying to hide my laser right now. So if you're wondering why I'm just staring at a brick wall, that's why. God dang it. Now they're going to know I'm here. He's going to come around the wall pre-aiming. Lay down, just wait to see what we got going. Okay, nobody's taking the bait. Okay, let's do this. Throw down a munitions box. Unless he wants to go all the way around, which my teammates seem to really have that one side of the map locked. 
Boom! That's what that's what he gets for waiting there the whole time, like a pussy. God dang it! I should have checked that side first because it's easier to look at that and then move up to the left. Boom! Oh my wiener! They done did win and got a little bit of a lead on us. Okay, where are they at? They're not there. They got to be spawning left side. I'm not trying to be that guy, but like right now the mini map's not making a lot of sense to me based off of where. Got him, can't see. That's why, I like, having muscle memory of your immediate surroundings can come in real handy for you, you know? I just, I feel like I'm gonna get shot in the back as soon as I turn around, no matter which way I go. I'm really confused about where spawns are right now, brothers. Okay, I'm gonna let my teammate push that way and see what happens. Oh! Boom, had to do it to you, brother. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see if we can get us a nice UAV on the map. I hate to be that corner camping, corner camping, the corner camping kid right now, but until we get a UAV up, I don't want to really start, you know, bum rushing out into the middle of who knows where. I don't know where that airstrike went. Boom, got that one. Okay, got a UAV up now. I feel a lot more confident once we can kind of get an idea where these guys are chilling. Oh, of course, you had to get an assist. If I can get a VTOL, that'll really help, uh, you know, change the tides here. Okay, I'm, I should, I, so anytime you got somebody peeking out, I didn't even see the scope player. That's how, like, sliver thin it was of him poking his head out. Let's see if we can get this grenade right over the edge. Yes, perfect. Nice little two-piece. Oh, the damage range, bro. And if I hadn't reloaded, I didn't know they were still going to be spawning two inches to my left. But we're doing solid. 14 kills. We're top of the leaderboard. I didn't want to pull that yet. Yep, well, they knows where I is. Oh, why do I have my shotgun out? Okay, well, maybe they're going to loop around in the back, maybe. Going to be a dead silence. Boom, is he down? God, of course, and I, I've got a shotgun. Can't even pull the dang thing out. Oh, but yeah, anyways, I just come inside from uh, putting together a diesel heater that I'm going to be using in some upcoming videos on the Pro Caliber HQ channel. Um, so, that was a, uh, you know, that was a process doing it at night in the cold. Or in the morning and in the cold, depending on how you look at, uh, you know, 2 a.m. See, I don't even trust them stairs no more. Well, and that's why I don't trust them stairs no more. Every time I point my butt cheeks at them stairs, somebody comes up behind and sticks something up the old rectum, you know? Flipping twistles at arounds and diddles you. Man, we had such a good lead there, and then I guess some of my teammates just started doing poop. Okay, well, I don't know. There was two people in there, so unless that one guy had, like, a flak jacket or something. I feel like I got cheated out of a... Cheated out of a kill. Boom. But just like that. Where? Oh. No clue where I was getting shot from. Right. Yep, I mean, they're just really maintaining that 10-point lead on us now. Once that happens, there's not a lot you can do. I really wish I had another grenade. Nice three piece. Oh, no, I'm dead now. God dang it. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, so boom. Bringing it in. We closed that 10 kill gap. Where 
are you coming from, brother? Jesus Christ, I keep just getting blindsided. Like, the mini-map, like, the spawns just must be all over the place this game. Disagree. That's where the FSS, some of the flipping, the damage just does not always add up like it should. And that is a fact. God dang it. Okay, well, I mean, back to that 10-point deficit again. And, I mean, we're killing it. We're killing it. I just, I maybe my teammates are working on something, going through something. They just flipping. They didn't eat their breakfast or their dinner or what, like, wherever they're from. They're in the middle of flipping the Middle East or Afghanistan. They're on a different time frame. God, oh, my wiener. I wish I really could have got both of them. We can at least bring it in. I don't want to lose, like, with a whole 10 point, like, 10 points down. That always just feels dumb. So I'll do that since we have a refill right here. Oh. Oh, my. That's what you get. Boom. That's what you get. Come on now. Somebody's got to run this way. Dude, what are the odds out of all the people on that team and all the variety of guns they're using running in face to face with the one dude rocking a shoddy? Grenade, thank you. Well deserved afterlife kill there. Hey, look at that though. We hit our 30 kills, so I, it's not like we we, we had <clears throat> pulled our weight this go around. Like we've really been uh been dropping it like it's hot. Okay, well I completely missed that one. I didn't see any red triangle or nothing. Okay, yeah, he he had a nice little head peek right there on that rubble. Rubble, rubble, dull and trouble. Well, guys, look, 31 kills, I'll take that. It seemed to be somewhat of a decent matchmaking go-round, like with the, uh, you know, just overall team versus team thing. Like, my team ended up being a little bit of hot dog water, but what can you do? Um, and, you know, I don't think they've done any nerfs or buffs or whatever, but this gun, it does feel a lot better than when I first used it. I mean, these attachments make a huge difference from, like, just having that longer barrel uh, in conjunction with that suppressor really changes the game for this submachine gun. So just out of all the attachments on here, make sure you go with those two. Um, but, yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Always really appreciate taking time to watch the video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share your friends. Check the link in the description of the channel, especially Pro Caliber HQ. A lot of new videos on there already. New videos to come before the new year and a lot of new stuff once the new year gets here. So, yeah, hit me in that comment section. Until the next one, adios.